I'm sick of talking about them. Honestly, I am. I think most of us are, but they can't stop yapping about themselves and putting themselves into the news agenda, so we have to. Yes, it's Harry and Meghan who've now regaled us with their truth. So far in sycophantic interviews with Oprah Winfrey, with James Gordon, with Stephen Colbert, they bashed Britain in six hours of indulgent whining on Netflix. They've fronted podcasts on their self-centred versions of history. Harry has barely finished the global family trashing tour in support of his treacherous family trashing memoir. But inevitably, he's decided that the world hasn't heard quite enough from him. So Harry's latest wheeze is a live therapy session with Dr Gabor Mate, a fated trauma expert in which he reminded us again that he, Harry, is the world's biggest victim. And then at some point you say, towards the end of the book, when is someone in this family going to break free and live? Mm -hmm. Have you done that? I have now. Yeah. Um, what does it feel like? It was great. <laughs> I do. I, I mean, once the book came out, I felt, I felt incredibly free. Mm. I felt a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, shut up. Fans paid £20 each. Can you imagine paying for that? <laughs> for 90 minutes of that psychobabble in which Harry revealed he began therapy after a row with Meghan and again divulges his fondness for drugs. I started doing it recreationally, he says, and I started to realise how good it was for me. He's talking about psychedelic narcotics. I would say it's one of the more fundamental parts of my life that changed me and helped me deal with the traumas and pains of the past. Well, there's been an advert for not taking drugs. It's old Harry, isn't it? US border agents take a dim view of drug use by non-US citizens. Nigella Lawson was once banned from flying to America after admitting she'd taken cocaine. Another compelling reason why we don't want them at the King's coronation. We might end up being stuck with them for good. Well, this unfortunately worded caption of the story in the Times said it best. At the end of the talk with Prince Harry, Dr Gabor Mate said he was suffering from PTSD, ADHD, depression, anxiety and panic disorder. No reports on what Harry's suffering from after that. 